Hello, welcome to Lori's DIY Life. This is Lori. You have to excuse me today. I have a sore throat. I start coughing or whatever. <coughs> it's just sore throat, I think. Or my allergies. We drove my mom home this weekend and uh. So I'll probably be taking some extra drinks and maybe coughing or whatever, but. <coughs> because I did take my mom home this weekend, I wanted to make sure and do a video today so what I've done is I've taken out the other box of Christmas <coughs> and of course just to step back a little bit I'm going through stuff that I already have that's Christmas before Christmas in July comes so that I'm better equipped when Christmas in July comes to know what I want to get, what I don't want to get, and what I have and what I don't have, and even do I need to get anything. These are all little stamp sets, and and I believe they came out last year. And they're cute as heck. This is the other box, the first box we went through. There's still a lot in there I haven't done. But I thought, let's move on to this box and see what we got. So these are so cute and so really it depends do you want to be religious do you want to be cute and fun where do you want to go with it what do you want to do with it that's <coughs> what I'm looking at and I've got you know some major collections and stuff so see I do have the nativity and I have like the paper and and that so this is the um, uh, Christmas angel here and that's kind of just a creative card in itself there's joy and I believe that's probably pretty good size this is actual cut size I guess the picture so you know that's beautiful then this is is this the template stencil and I don't think the stencil is actually in here because I keep running across that stencil okay and then this is an embossing folder and I think we did this one out of the other so this piece is in the other one and then is this another are these the same Wait, where is that? Yeah, look at there. How did I end up with two of them? I got two of them. Okay. Then we have Peace with the Stars, and you can actually layer, it looks like over here. It shows different layers. And then, of course, while shepherds watched and it's a metal die okay then over here we have looky here the little cutesy little stamps but these are the die cuts and you layer them up looky there there's a santa claus did you see this i couldn't it's a penguin a santa a snowman that cute I like that card already polar bear Let's see polar bear I'm not too crazy about the polar bear and then the robin and a little girl elf and a deer dashing by cute then we have a Bethlehem scene and we have I have all a lot of manger scenes don't I the reason for the season stamps and dies so that's nice here's the stencil oh it looks like I definitely used it and couldn't clean it so maybe I do need to look for the other one throw that one in the 
trash. Um, a Christmas scene, so another manger scene, but this is in an ornament shape. This is the nativity scene also, that over here. Come, let us adore him. Uh, stamp set. Oh, holy night. Die. Peace on earth. A uh, stamp set. So is the peace on earth a stamp? It sure is, I guess. Okay, peace on earth. Then I have vintage Christmas. And this is the holly, and it doesn't feel like anything's in here. No, it's a cut and emboss folder. Huh. Christmas wishes die. Seasons greetings. Enchanted Ivy, I think that's this. Let's see. So we have that. Oh, look at that. Metal die. You'll tie frames. But you gotta have something to put in there, right? Oh, it's um, like a nesting die. There's a lot in this vintage Christmas. And these are stamps. And we have festive foliage. Um, oh, this is just the foliage. Then it doesn't actually make the poinsettia. So if I don't have the poinsettia, peace on earth, here's the poinsettia. Okay, I'm going to keep the foliage and the poinsettia out. And what is this? Merry Christmas. And here's a stamp and die Santa. And here's a folder piece on earth. Festive frame. Have I gone? Do all these. I'm going to keep these two here aside and we will work on these tomorrow. We're going to make some poinsettias. Okay, Enchanted Christmas. Glistening Glacier. That's pretty. Um, winter Wreath. Nice. Enchanted Snowfall. This is a stencil. And Winter Wonderland. But, okay. Wishing you a magical Christmas. Sparkle all the way. Winter wishes. And, oh. A embossing folder. 3D embossing folder. Okay, so that's what's in here. And... I think we're going to start with this one and just try it. It's been opened. So I guess I've used it. We will see. And what I'm going to do with that, I think, at this point, what I'm thinking is the way they did it, they stamped black onto probably gold. They stamped gold, then black, then they cut it out. And that's how they got the scene. Um, and it shows the trees and the um, guy on the camel. Okay. Let's give this a try. And I've got 
this is silver, not gold. Oh, here's some gold. <laughs> now the question is, oh, excuse me. Do we want to use the mat or the mirror? And I'm thinking the mat. So let me get a piece of the mat out of here. And I'm thinking black ink, or at least something fairly dark. I got all these Midas and that's a rose and a blush and a lace and a garnet. Oh, dropped them all. Amethyst and bronze. Now I could take black and stamp the gold on the black, but I don't think it will have that same nice effect. So having a hard time finding some black and I don't know why because I just know I just had some okay my desk is very much a mess here because I didn't get it cleaned up after But I'm going to definitely do this. Okay, black ink. I'm gonna use the white paper. This is the card I made last time. It's a little crooked. I glued it. Crooked. Okay. Let me get that out of the way. And you can see a lot better. You know, it would be better if you could see more of this way, but how do I get you down this way? There. Is that better? Maybe. Okay, so I want it. All right. And I need the gold paper. And I'm taking the things off the and I'm going to put that down this way because with the magnets down and the stamper down, I will still fit because the paper goes through the middle. So it'll still fit. Okay. Nor black, but it's opaque ink, so I'm going to have to. Oh, this layers. So you can do the gold. I still want to keep it on the gold paper, though, I think. And um, which one do I want to do, though? One or two. Okay. 
I'm going to do number two. It's a more detailed. Because I really just want to stamp it once. I don't want to stamp it twice. And I'm going to kind of bring that down. Because I want it. You know, I'm going to want it. Yeah. I'm going to want to be able to put you know, cut it to the size of the card. I just haven't decided what size to do the card yet because of the, um, and I don't know what it's going to look like, so, but what we're going to have to do to get the pieces on. Okay. Let's hope this is good. And because we've got the Stamping platform. We should be able to come back and redo it. So, yep, got to come back. There's some spots the father, the mother. same spot so I'm going to do that and let's see okay I may have I can see where the ink is still on there so Maybe we're not going to be able to stamp on this with the opaque. Uh, let me try one more time and you can see what the image looks like and there's some kind of empty baldy spots like I would call them I guess completely empty and bald looking. Pretty sure it's not the stamp, so it might be just the paper and the ink and everything isn't good. Let's see how this works. seems to be an issue. Much better. Mm. Still some spots up in here. And over here, not as bad, but more over here. Okay. All right. I'm gonna be happy with this right now. I like that, and I'm, oh, oh, oh. Sorry about that. I'm just gonna use a wipe. There we go. Know. My last one got a. wasn't this. It wasn't a crafter's companion. It was my other one, but it got kind of stained 
from something. One of my ink pads, probably the quick dry. But okay, and I'm gonna put this back. And I want the palm trees. And I want the camel. They've got him to this side. And they've got, they've got palm trees and then camel. So, palm trees and camel. The palm tree is kind of, yeah, he's got to be coming this way, don't he? So, okay, we don't want him leaving the scene, right? So let's put our palm trees here. Okay. I hope this one doesn't take as many tries. Now you can mask it. and bring it down. Turned out nice. Now the camel. I'm gonna want like that. That way, where it stands, it's not gonna mess up the image. I don't think, anyways, that it will. Uh oh. Please don't fail me now, Magnet. Okay. And. I'm just going to ink him up. bad spot there that should be where he was anyways I'm thinking that that kind of wiped it off that the stamp kind of taken took it off let's see yes I am happy with that and then my stamp this opaque ink it does not dry fast but I'm gonna tell you right now you want to get it off because when it does dry at least me anyways I've had a hard time getting it off um, you know what I signed up for a sip and script class and it's not until July 10th, but it's mimosas and calligraphy writing. There were other classes, but they were, um, They were, um,
all booked already. That was the soonest available. So I went ahead and signed up. And hopefully I learned something. I am not very artistic. Like I can't draw or do anything like that. That was one of the reasons for starting this channel was that everybody back then all the ones I was watching everybody was like making all these perfect perfect cards and you know it tends to make you feel like Ugh. and I, I was like Psh, that's not me so I'm gonna use the bronze and all I want to do is just kind of bring it out because it is on the gold already Um, oh. so I started this so that normal people or you know untalented people like me that was just doing the best we could would know hey you know what we're, we're gonna make mistakes and we're not perfect and Also, you know, there's easy ways and hard ways to do things. A lot of times, a lot of times, my videos are what not to do. <laughs> if you've been watching for any amount of time, you know that. If you haven't, you'll find out quickly. <laughs> so, um, but it's for fun, right? We're, we're having fun and we're learning and trying things out together and new techniques and you know like I'm not a much of a stamper really so this is you know something new Ooh, I like the way that turned out actually uh, I don't know if you can see it on there but it just I know that star is supposed to be super bright but I like that effect and that might have been really nice to do the whole thing in let me see if I can get it better on there for you so you can see that star. I like that. Okay, so now i got to figure out, now I've got my scene, right? And I have to figure out how I'm going to do this. So I think my next step <coughs> is, oh, excuse me, get this out of the way first, and then I need to get my paper trimmer, and I need to see what size this is going to be. after I have it trimmed up. So I'm gonna come over here and I wanna keep it square, you know? I wanna really try to keep it square. So I'm gonna cut it here. And the best way to do keep it square is take your side of the paper you know is good, make sure that's up to the edges of the cutter and that before you cut. And that'll keep it straight on the paper. And so that's there and now I'm gonna look here's the five for five by seven and I think I kind of like where that line is on this, on this so I'm gonna cut it there but I know that I don't want this to be five by seven because I know even if I do a five by seven card I'm gonna want to mat it so that tells me I need to take more off the top and so five by seven, and I'm gonna go to four and a half. That gives me half an inch to mat. So five is five by seven. And so I need to go to seven. But I need to go actually to six and a half. So I'm going to go to six and three quarters and see where that puts me. 
and it does my reasoning make sense and this one I'm gonna go to six and a half right and that gives me and half an inch all the way around listen to my burn <laughs> okay so there's my six and a half so I'm at four and a half by six and a half four a five by seven card now let me get a five by seven card blank okay I got the card blanks Now, here's the other thing that you can do if you want to, is this is opaque ink that I used. I don't know how this foil paper, this metallic paper holds up to um, heat, but you could try heat embossing it. And maybe we'll try that. Maybe tomorrow I'll have that set up and we can give that a shot now. We have to figure out what we want to mat it with. Predictable black. Hmm. Not very Christmassy. We could do a gold, but maybe a different kind of gold. Maybe we could do the shiny gold, or we could do the glitter gold. Too much to me. Or we could do, I don't know. I have a thing about this silver glitter. <laughs> For some reason, I just absolutely love this silver glitter. Oh, look. <laughs> I don't know. I really like it, but I think it's just because I see something about that silver glitter. You can't even see it, can you? Oh my gosh, it's just... I just love it. Look at it. Just... What do you think? It's pretty. I think it's pretty, but... Oh, I think it's beautiful. But I always think this silver glitter is beautiful with everything. Um, I don't have a big enough piece right now, but I can get. Here is blue. So if we did the blue there. The blue looks nice, but it's kind of dark. I think I'm, I might be making a mistake, but I like it. And I can look at it for a while before I glue it down. I don't have to glue it down right now. If I'm not sure. So I'm going to go and make the mat. And because I know I left a half an inch, right, I need to go to four and three quarters not my normal size but because it was four and a half now four and three quarters you know what I'm gonna go a little bit bigger with this because I love this silver glitter so I'm gonna go it's like seven eighths four and seven eighths by six and seven eighths And that'll leave us a little bit of white and a bigger silver. You make sure that your card is the right way. Always do that. Believe me, I've made some mistakes with that myself. I think everybody has. Okay, and then we have 
this. I like it. Now, this set. What else? Where is the rest of the set? What did I do with it? What did I do with it? It's over here. Actually, is this just stamps? I thought there were dies. I thought it was stamp and die. Stamp and die. What did I do with the dies for this set? Been so busy stamping that I don't really know what I did with them. They're not inside the package, are they? No. Hmm. Well, I don't know. What I did. You're probably all yelling at me. It's over there. It's over there. And I have no idea. Oh, what I'm looking for is see that okay so it's not here anyways what I was looking for was a joy to the world cut out but that's not in there so are these all stamp stamps what I need is a cutout word. So I'm going to grab some of these others that I have and just go through and look for one. Okay, this says Peace on Earth. No, that's the cutting and boss folder. This says Merry Christmas. This is Peace on Earth. Baby. I know pretty baby. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. But I think I'm going to use it. I, I mean, it's, I swear, it just sounded like you said, okay. Well, then I said, I'm going to use it. Um, I wanted some of that silver sparkle paper now. I got to find a piece big enough. This is a mess up, and it's, it doesn't work. Here we go. Ooh. Silver sparkle. Yeah, and that's what I'm going to cut out. Peace on earth. With. So I'm going to cut this out. And I'm going to move these them back in my tub. And those got to stay out. And these can go back in the tub. And this can come out. folder has seen better days. <laughs> See the folder? But I'm going to use it. So I'm going to do 
she's on Earth, and then probably, probably, well, if it'll stay just like that, I'm good with it. I was gonna tape it, but if it stays good that way, there we go, that's all that matters, right? See what we got. Okay. Oh. So and actually, I don't want this part. just want the peace on earth part. So I didn't need the other. You know what I need? Like a little teeny tiny vacuum. So that when I'm done, Doing my cards, I can just vacuum all this stuff up. I thought about that today. All these little pieces. Oh, there. And I'm on carpet. So. A little tiny vacuum would be really, really nice. This is turning into a longer video than I thought, isn't it? Just looked at my phone and saw what time it was. Okay. Peace on Earth. I like it. Okay. So I like it. It's a little sparkly, dazzling. I thought I was making a more of a muted card, but things change. All I'm doing is putting a little glue down without trying to anyways without making a mess. still have a piece in the H that has got to come out. Okay. Peace on Earth. I got glue on the mirror cord. They say, don't worry about it, it'll rub off. I'm going to glue this and I am using tacky glue. see the card blank. Just want to put it on here. So 
and we want to get it pretty straight. Okay, I think that's right. Okay, and now this. What do we think? Feels like it's missing something because there's no dimension other than this piece on Earth. So I would say that instead of matting it, what I should have done was framed it with the sewer. So that means coming out with the nesting dies and putting it around, and I might do that. I might um, get some nesting dies out, make a small frame, because there's nothing that says I can't do that now. So I can get the nesting dies out, make a small frame, just something thin and go around over the top like I would probably use the silver and just go over the top of the silver and that might be what I'm looking for so here we go here's another card um, I was going to show you. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This was the season's greetings card we made the other, the other day that I didn't glue because I went ahead and put these down, these um, Nuvo drops, and they take 24 hours to dry, so I did, I did glue them down. I like it. And today we did Peace on Earth. We've got others, and I don't know exactly... to it with my mom here things kind of went a little out if she straightened things for me so I love the way the star looks it's just nice that metallic ink on the metallic paper I like the way it looked maybe it should have been oh see it's still wet I hope it does dry. We'll find out. Huh? Okay. That's it for today. Um, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed my channel. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. And... Oh, I hope you'll join me again. Bye-bye for now.